track news here. Charlie Hunter of Oregon, mid-distance stud, reps Australia, going pro. Going pro, Gordon. Put out a little video, and at the end of the video, they flashed a logo. It wasn't just a Nike logo. It was a logo for Pete Julian's group that does not have a name yet. So they didn't actually say the name because there's no name to say. And then later, Donovan Brazier talked about how he was pumped to train with him. So, Charlie Hunter, uh, we assumed he was going pro. You were talking about that, I think, an episode or two ago. But now we know where he's going. So he's not going to be with that same group with Hawker and Tier in Eugene. He's going to be training with... uh, with Pete Julian's group, which gives him the opportunity to train with Donovan Brazier, which is a pretty good person to train with. Yeah, I mean, especially he's focused on the – I mean, he is a good miler, but I think he is recognizing his bread and butter is the the 800. And yeah. if, if you have an opportunity to train with Donovan Brazier to be, like, crushed in workouts by the fastest man in the world, you take it, and then you become even better. So. Uh, I think it's going to be a good signs for him. I think he's going to be making multiple Australian teams and he has the potential to, you know, make a career out of, you know, making multiple finals and always be in the hunt to potentially get a medal. Like if your training partner is Don Brazier, you're you're in good hands. Trivia question. Who's older, yeah. Donovan Brazier or Charlie Hunter? Well, Charlie Hunter. Correct. <laughs> yeah. I don't think people would assume that. Well, okay. Well, I would, but he, he was an old, he was an old dude for Oregon, right? He, he's like 24, 25, right? 25, 25. Yeah. So he should be going pro. Let's be honest. He shouldn't be running in college at the age of 25. So the whole like international athlete, the age and high school and it doesn't count towards your eligibility thing, you know, Oregon, a lot of NCAA schools are able to kind of manipulate that to get, much older athletes like, Oh, I'm a 23 year old freshman because I technically never went to college. Yeah. Even though I was running on a club in in a different right. country. Uh, but think about this, man. It's kind of wild. The, the Oregon the DMR, 20. the 2021 Oregon DMR of Cooper tier, Cole Hawker and Charlie Hunter was yeah. probably one of the greatest DMRs we will ever see. I mean, two Olympians on it. One guy who was almost an Olympian. Yeah. Who is just, like crazy. Well, and we could have seen it run. They could have run it back too. They could have. That's the even yeah. crazy part. So you have on the same team the 2016 NCAA champion in the 800 in Donovan Brazier and the 2021 NCAA 800 meter champion in Charlie Hunter. And the 2021 NCAA champion is older than the 2016 NCAA champion. That is a fun fact. That's a Use wild that stat. Trivia. Use that in trivia. I know. I think, I think I'll have to. That's crazy. Uh, I mean, Hunter was was great last year. You look at the 1500s and the mile performances, um, and then when you get to his main event, the 800, he was he was really solid, made the semis in Tokyo. I think he's, he's going to be great. And the fact that he's older, I think, will help because he's mature. He's stepping into um, a training situation where he's training with the best guy in the world when he's healthy. It'll be fun. And Brazier, I mean, who who does Brazier train with, really, at this point? Because I know Engels is off. Um, he's down in Mississippi now, right? And then there are a lot of other members of the group, um, when it when it got disbanded, um, went different ways. So I don't know. I, and it, already it was kind of split between who trained with Salazar and who trained with with Pete Julian. So I don't know how many how many people he has to train with. So this is this is probably a ideal situation for him as well too yeah yeah because you i mean even training with angles you're training with a miler right so that's good and all for certain types of workouts but then there's those fast stuff that no one's gonna be able to keep up with him and i think hunter will be because he's gonna be expected to be able to run 48 seconds you know run a 49 consistently you know so yeah Yeah. not that craig angles can't do that but you know there's a difference between 800 speed and 1500 speed yeah 
Trevor in the chat asks, how will Oregon track look this year after losing three studs? Gordon, what do you think? Uh, not as good as last year. Um, <laughs> Breaking news. They, I, let me bring up uh, my document that I use on Oregon. Oh, wow. Hold on. Give me document that yeah, I use on Oregon. <laughs> sounds document. interesting to me. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm just looking at who they have now on their roster. Let me bring it up. So, okay, obviously they lose Hunter. They'll have Luis Peralta, who's just like a – he's just – He's a good 800-meter guy, but he's not great. They'll still have Reed Brown, who's like a good miler, but not great. They still have Aaron Benfeld, who will be a, a good 5, 3K, 10K guy, but not great. Um, so they have like good, but not great in the distance. By great, I'm meaning like can potentially finish like top four in a final. Yeah. Um, they, they obviously are going to be put a lot of weight on their sprinters this year between Micah Williams and this guy named Xavier Narn. Uh, they're going to be looked to upon to, to score a lot in the, in the shorter stuff. Um, they have a good multi-athlete, and they have a good triple jumper. So it's going to be a unique kind of year for them because we're used to Oregon distance, Oregon distance, right? And mm -hmm. while there will be some Oregon distance there, the big points will be coming in the 60 from Micah Williams, in the triple jump from this guy named Emmanuel Imaji and in the multis and uh, the, just like the stars at the distance level, they're all just, they're pro now. Right. Now yeah. new people might, might arrive, but you don't really see that. I mean, the best distance persons they have are Peralta and Brown and they have good times. Like Peralta's run 146, Brown's run 356 in a mile, but you know, 146 and 356 is not really an elite time anymore. You know, right. You need to, you need to be running three, 54 and 145, 144. So they'll still be good, but they're not going to be as good as they were, obviously, this past year. Yeah. And, and as uh, Tom brings up in the chat, he says Oregon really needs some good recruits and, and transfers. And transfers is the, the wild card, right? And also yeah. international athletes as well, too. Recruits, like if you just look at that group, that DMR, you, they hit really well on both their recruits. And that's not always a guarantee, but Tier and Hawker. They were as good as advertised, and then you have a great international athlete coming in, in in Charlie Hunter. But that doesn't always happen, and all it takes is having one or two recruits not pan out, and you're struggling for a bit. And then if you do want to rely on transfers, well, then the amount of time that they're there isn't as long. So then they're moving on, and then you're getting this high level of turnover. So you know yeah, it's gonna you have a you can't replace that. I mean, it's just impossible. As you mentioned, it's like one of the greatest DMR groups of all time. So I'm going to make a prediction now, December 10th of 2021. You know who's going to have the best DMR mm. in the country? Can you guess? Are you going to say NAU? No. Okay. Who do you think I would say? Notre Dame. Nope. Stand I'm guessing. Nope. One more guess, and then I'll tell you. Uh, Villanova. Nope. Ole Miss. Ole Miss is going ah. to be the best DMR in the country. That was my next guess. You know why? Why? They have a great transfer. You know who their transfer is? Hmm. The Division Two NCAA champion in the mile, Mr. James Young from Academy of Art. He's okay. transferring. So you throw him. They got Mario Garcia Romo. And then they, yeah. are, they have a guy named uh, Baylor Franklin, who's a 147, 800 meter guy, and John Rivera, who's a 148. So they have two good 800 meter runners, and they have two great milers in Young and Garcia Romo. That, that's, that's, that's the recipe you need, right? Gordon Collin is shot on December. Oh, yeah, 10th. Ole Miss, 2022 champs.